Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will cover asynchronous basics in Node.js. As we know, Node.js is a asynchronous programming language. And if you don't know, then don't worry. We will cover all these things in this video, like what is synchronous, what is asynchronous, practical as well as theoretical way, right? But uh, before starting with this video, I want to mention one thing, which is very important for freshers. If you are uh, preparing for job then this video is really really important for you why because if you have some experience in node.js that time they can ask some advanced questions and some project related questions and all but now you are a fresher you are a beginner you did not work on any node.js project and all so what they will ask to you they will ask basic but strong things they will ask that why node.js is a asynchronous programming language what is the meaning of asynchronous programming language? What are the disadvantages of asynchronous program programming language? What is uh, the difference between sync and async programming language and all, right? So this is really important for freshers. All right, so now let's start with the uh, theoretical example, then we will jump on practical. So here we will compare the synchronous and asynchronous language and we will learn that what are they actually. So let's start with the synchronous language. In synchronous language, actually tasks are performed one by one only one task can perform at a single time for example we want to load uh, users products and cities and we have three tasks in our programming language so in synchronous way what actually they do users will firstly load after that whenever our users will completely load it then our products will be loaded and after that our cities will load it so might be here city have to wait for four minutes if user will take two minutes and product will be take two minutes because uh, until our previous task is not completing our uh, current task will not gonna start because it will wait for our previous task whenever user will complete then product task will be started right that's why this is little bit slow also but in case of asynchronous programming or you can say that in, in case of Node.js because Node.js is an asynchronous programming language. It never wait for the previous task. For example, we, again we have to load the user's products and it is. It will start executing the user's task and just after that it will start the execution of product's uh, task. It will not wait for the result of user's task. So let's say if users will take two minutes, it will not gonna wait for two minutes. Just after start execution of users, it will start executing of products. And after that, it will start executing of cities. That's why it will little bit fast because it will not wait for the previous task, right? So theoretical way uh, part is completed. If you still have any query, you can ask me in the comment box or you can ask me on my Instagram account. ID is given in the uh, description box for for every video all right so after that uh, let's go for a practical example so here we will just take example of asynchronous programming language because um, node.js is a asynchronous programming language so first of all let's say we have a console.log uh, start uh, exe that means execution right after that uh, we have two more logs and here we have a uh, logic execution our logic will be executed and after that uh, complete our execution right and now if I am running it you will find that it will just uh, our execution is start then logic execution uh, logic will executed and our execution is completed this is pretty simple but let's say here our second task or our first task any task will take some time what actually happen it will not wait to finish the execution of that task it will immediately uh, pick the next task I can show you example so let's let's say just after starting execution our logic will take two seconds and how we can perform two seconds we have a very simple function which is set time out and here let's uh, just give a interval of two seconds not interval just wait it will wait for two seconds and after that it will execute this console.log because we are assuming here that our logic is a little bit complex and it will take two seconds so what actually happened now 
our start task will execute first then complete will execute and after that our logic will be execute and here you can see that and after two second our logic is executed and you can compare with it here you can see that it will not wait for our previous task to execute and same things actually here uh, happening here our last execution will not wait for the second task it will execute first and whenever our second task will be executed it will actually uh, processing in the background whenever it will complete it it will give the result right that's why this is fast so now maybe you are thinking that's wow this is really great because it will uh, save a lots of time of execution and it will really fast yes definitely but there is some drawback also i can show you so let's say we have a variable a is 20 and let's say we have a b is 0 for a moment right and uh, after that in a console i am adding a plus b right and the answer is definitely there is a no doubt we have a 20 answer here that's great because we have uh, b is at uh, 0 but let's say now we have b is 30 the value is updated by our logic and now if we are just trying to print it you will find still our well uh, our a plus b uh, addition is still 20 the reason is our last statement is executed is first and result uh, or you can say that the ex, uh, updating of value 2 is uh, after uh, our uh, last execution right so this is basically a drawback so how we can handle this drawback we will learn in this thing in the upcoming video because this video for the asynchronous process and this is actually asynchronous process to so handle it what we can do here we can use the promises or we can use the uh, callback functions and all right and thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, give your reviews and like this video